So for us guys, it's in our nature to fix things or to want to fix things. It's just, it's part of how our mind works. It's part of how our brain works. We, we identify a problem, we work out a solution, and we apply the solution. So when guys are talking, whether it be to other guys or whether it be to females, and somebody is talking about a problem they have, or they're voicing a complaint. It's in our nature, usually, to start problem solving for the person. Whether they ask us to or not, in our head, we're already trying to figure out a solution, maybe even multiple solutions to the problem. And a lot of times we will voice our, you know, what we what we figured out or what we think will work. It's just in our nature. Now, sometimes people are just complaining to vent. They just want to vent. Or sometimes some people have already tried some solutions and they haven't been effective or they really weren't worth the effort. There are some things that we know we can fix if we put enough time, enough money, enough effort into. But at the end of the day, is it really worth it? Or by the time you get the problem fixed, has everything passed you by and that was absolutely pointless, you wasted your time. But it doesn't matter. From somebody else's point of view, they're, they're, they're thinking that, hey, I'm gonna try to help you out. And some people mean well by it. I mean, I do it. I'm a guy, of course. But sometimes it's not asked for. Somebody is not asking you to fix their problems or to give them a suggestion. So, and it's kind of hard to tell when they don't preface the complaint or discussion with, I'm not asking for a solution, but, right, which would be an awkward way to start a conversation, by the way. Uh, so, I have had situations where somebody has complained about something, and I see like three simple, inexpensive, easy, reasonable solutions for the problem. And I'm thinking, why are you wasting your time completely? This is, this is a no-brainer. And maybe sometimes I'll, I'll make suggestions. Usually I'm met with, I don't want to do that. Now, I don't want to do that doesn't mean you're trying to force your beliefs on me. Because in some cases, when we offer a solution to a problem, we're trying to jam a square peg into a round hole. I'm going to resolve your problem from my perspective from my lifestyle, with my budget, you know, that sort of thing. And it doesn't always work that way. If, if you need $500 to fix this problem and $500 seems like a lot of money to you, then me telling you just pull $500 out of the bank and fix a problem, it doesn't help you. You see what I mean? Uh, but a lot of times it's not with me, it's not necessarily that situation when they say, I don't want to. I don't want to means I don't have the ambition to do this. Oh, that's work. I don't want to do work. I just want somebody else to pay for it. I want somebody else to do the work. I want somebody else to make this go away. And that's what I run into a lot of. I run into a lot of other people that want someone else to do it for them because they're lazy. And I have no place in my life for lazy people. Now, that's not to say that there aren't some times where, once again, I'm the one jamming the square peg in the round hole. I'm telling them, why don't you do this, that, or the other? Well, this, that, or the other is illegal in their state. Or this, that, and the other isn't in the cards for them because they have other responsibilities and obligations that really put them in an awkward spot to do this, that, and the other. And in that case, I don't mean any harm by what I'm saying. I guess I'm just not aware of your situation. But then there's other times where I do offer a solution. And once again, like I said, it's frustrating. The person is just like, you know what? It's not even laziness sometimes. Sometimes it's just fear. Oh, I don't want to do that. That would require me to make a change to my life. And I'm afraid of change. You know, it's not that I can't do change. It's not that change is too difficult. It's not that I can't afford it or I'm too dumb or whatever. It's literally, I'm terrified of change. And for those people, I have no patience for you either. But sometimes when I'm talking about something, I've had some friends give me some advice, something I didn't consider. And it's kind of nice, you know, getting a different perspective because I'm going, oh, I never even thought about that. Or I didn't know that solution existed. And I am thankful for that. But other times I'm the one that's just venting and you're jamming your square peg in my round hole and that ain't where it goes, guys. Now, I, once again, 
How are you supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? So we're going to just continue to be guys. We're going to continue to be problem solvers and be the kind of people that, that have a mindset where problem solution, problem solution. We fix things. That's what we do. And it's just in our nature. And sometimes it can be looked at as being offensive. Because, you know, how dare you insinuate that I haven't considered every possibility? Or how dare you try to tell me how to live my life or whatever? But at the end of the day, it's also in our nature as men to get over things and to move on and to find reasons to associate and collaborate and to put our differences aside for the greater good. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. But I know these sorts of things are going to continue from me and from my, my friends. And communication is probably the best way to resolve, hey man, I appreciate it, but I wasn't looking for your help. I just wanted to vent. Thanks for listening.